Tom, lovely to meet you this evening. Now, your film Commune, tell us more about that. Uh, so Commune came around um, sort of by accident. Um, I've always wanted to be a filmmaker and director and a friend of a friend was looking after an old commune, effectively, in North London, an old Jewish uh, commune. We went round there for Halloween, had a Halloween party. It's all dilapidated, still had uh, belongings and stuff of the people that used to live there. And we were just hanging out, you know, dressed up for Halloween. And um, someone suggested I'll just make a great, you know, location for a film. So I was like, well, why don't we do that? Um, so we started putting, you know, things in action and then realised that actually we only had about a month before they were going to pull it down, which is great because it made us actually do it. Um, so, yeah, and then so we, there was a guy looking after it uh, who's the friend of a friend. Um, so we, I wrote the script kind of around him. So it's about a guy who's looking after an old commune, um, but the commune members maybe come back to get him and it's like a demon, demonic commune or something like that. So it's kind of, it's, it's like, has a very loose space in like reality. Because they do as well, you, that is something that they do in London, isn't it? That you can go and stay rent free in properties, can't you, if you look after them? Yeah, it's like Guardian uh, sort of ship thing. So they kind of, um, it, this was like, you know, our friend was uh, worked for an architect and then it was her, her boyfriend was looking after it. So he was staying there, like, he stayed there for a couple of months, which is really freaky. Um, but yeah, so. And, and you're an editor by trade, am I correct in saying? Yeah. Yes, so, um, yeah, I'm a freelance editor, um, uh, did uh, TV and video production at university, always wanted to be a director, uh, made a film at university, which did quite well, but that was over 10 years ago now, um, and it was just sort of an opportunity to get you know, back into the saddle, really. So, so was it interesting for you then going to the other side and having to sort of write and then direct and, and work with actors and, and bringing performance out? You clearly know how to create suspense through editing, but was it interesting doing it from the other perspective as well? Yeah, like I think that was part of the reason of um, this time limit that really helped because it's quite scary uh, to suddenly be behind the camera kind of calling the shots as it were. Usually I get given a bunch of footage, you know, like at the end of a shoot and I have to make something out of it. But actually having the, the, the decision and being on set and, and producing it as well was, was pretty scary. So, um, uh, yeah, so yeah, it was, it was nice though, like being able to actually speak to actors and, you know, give them a, an idea or a flavour about stuff that, you know, that I like, so, you know, referencing The Shining and um, Evil Dead and these sort of things. Um, and, yeah, and you realise as well when you're doing that that so much stuff that you've written, even if, you know, you've just hammered out a script or whatever, is actually superfluous. You don't need it. And you realise that, you know, the walking between room shots that you've got are useless. And it's you sort of end up doing editing kind of on set in a way, like through the script, which has good learning curve. So. Imagine as well as an editor, you're you're not going to be sort of sh sh taking too many takes. You're 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 probably you've got a good eye for what it is that you're looking for because you know that you're not going to want to sit in an edit room going over about ten takes of the same thing. Uh, yeah, like I'm definitely not. I wasn't. Yeah, you know, I wasn't. Uh, you know, Kubrick about it. I didn't do hundreds of takes through the doorway. But um, there are certain. Yeah, you, know, you do. You, if you when you have an idea of what you're looking for in a scene, uh, and you're maybe not getting it or it's not coming out. Uh, as well as you'd hope. I guess that you have to really speak up about that and say, like, you know, this isn't working, we need to do this. But yeah, I think I was maybe confident if we get it in one shot and we get it in one take, then, you know, there's all this thing about doing another one for safety, but we didn't have any time, so yeah, I was confident we'd have it, yeah. And I imagine lighting is very important for this kind of film as well, to build suspense and mood. Yes, and a slight problem we had was because it was so short notice, I called on friends and family and stuff to, you know, beg, borrow and steal. But we, um, the cameraman uh, like the guy that I used is from university and um, an old friend of mine now, we didn't really kind of get the lighting we wanted. We got some little bits and pieces and borrowed off some friends and stuff. Um, but we ended up, he just ended up sort of enhancing the lighting that was kind of in this building. Um, and using modern cameras, they're really fast anyway. So we shot quite a lot of low light. And then I have a really good colorist friend um, Andrew Daniel Molinaire and he did wonders with, you know, I mean the, the building was, they decked it out, uh, the original owners decked it out in a lot of golds and sort of yellows, so it was a, a tungsten looking environment um, and not very scary, so we had to sort of sort that out like in camera and in the grey to bring it all down, make it kind of, you know, like look freaky and stuff. So. Which it really does. And then the film's now here at the London Independent Film Festival, so you must be excited about that. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, yeah, so yeah, it's its premiere, uh, world premiere at the yeah the lift. So I'm just yeah I'm amazed really. I'm it's kind of scary to to get, you know to be able to see it on the big screen with a, an audience and see how they react, see if they laugh in the wrong places or if they're scared in the wrong places. I don't know. So um, it'll be great. Yeah, see how it stands up.